Yes, yes, guys, this is Nilly Last and welcome. As you can see, we're just jumping into a game of Team Deathmatch. Just did it. There you go. Look at that for a nice little start. But basically, guys, while we're here quickly, what I want to talk to you about is the fact that I am absolutely ecstatic that the M8A1 is returning to Black Ops 3. It is. Yep, yeah, okay, they want to call it the M8A7, but it is the M8A1 and it is returning. Now, I am a bit of an SMG kind of guy. I really, really am. But one thing I do like is my burst rifles. I really, really do. Now, Advanced Warfare, for me, a bit of a letdown with burst rifles. I mean, yeah, the whole puncher works all right and whatnot else, but let's be honest, it's not really the best because everyone could jump up on you really, really quickly. So you keep people off at a bit of a distance. It's not too bad. But, you know, like I say, this game's really, really chaotic. Everyone comes from everywhere, so they just don't feel like it works the same. Now, I've liked like burst rifles pretty much from the start now i'm going to be honest with you, like the type 95 for um modern warfare 3 now that was a beast of a gun as well a lot, a lot of people said it was overpowered and what else uh, that may be the case but i agree <laughs> i gotta be honest i absolutely loved it i really really did thought it was an absolutely brilliant gun so the fact that the maa1 is returning is going to be great news i certainly will be trying to use it quite a, bit, a lot i'm going to be honest here there's no doubt about it i mean the maps that it from what we've been watching at the eSports reveal, they don't look, you know, like, it's, it doesn't look like they're gonna be, it's going to be overpowered too much. Yeah, you're going to have your longer sights and that, but it does look like quite a lot of it is quite geared to SMGs as well. So, you know, it is going to be quite fluid and whatnot else. So I, I don't think it's going to be one of those cases that everyone's like, oh, no, this is returning. This is all that people are going to use and whatnot else. I don't think that is going to be the case whatsoever. Um, also, quickly, while we're all talking about the weapons, though, I must admit, one weapon that does look very good, or especially in the hands of the, the professionals, is going to be said is going to be the um, the man of war now that does look absolutely dominating that weapon so it'd be very interesting to see how that one pans out i mean i'm going to be quite interested to be using that one all the time as well but i mean for me at the moment my go-to weapon is definitely definitely oh i knew it was around there somewhere it's definitely gonna be the ma1 i can't wait to try that out so i am really really happy that that is returning maybe if they want to do another one maybe the msmc i did quite enjoy that i know they've got a couple of uh smgs that are really really powerful anyway so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, the one thing i will say with the burst rifles at the moment is the the, the, uh, well, sorry, the, the time to kill does see, still seem rather quick at the moment. So if it is quite as dominant as what it was in Black Ops 2, it's going to be interesting to see how that one plays out. But I do like my um, burst weapons, especially because you've got to be on target one else. I do want to feel rewarded for actually being on target. So I think that, you know... Okay, like uh, with the Type 95, it was a little bit overpowered or whatnot else, and people got a bit frustrated with it. But at the same time, that you know, if you're going to use a weapon that obviously is only a burst fire, and you've got to be accurate with it, I, I think that you should be rewarded with it. So I hope in that instance that it is going to be rewarding to be using. But anyway, this is just a quick video on that, just to let you guys know. One that is returning if you haven't already heard, but mainly because i am absolutely excited that is because that is one of the weapons that i absolutely loved from Mono, uh sorry from black ops 2 so there you go guys anyway coming up on my screen now in a minute it's just gonna be my subscribe button if you want to jump on that also guys and i'll be letting you know about some other call of duty news basically just giving my little feedback and my thoughts on on it all and if you could drop a like on this video that'd be absolutely amazing this is nearly last and i'll catch you later